It was held that any annexures to the pleadings in an election... Cyprian Awiti is the second governor to have his election nullified over electoral malpractices. Homabe County Returning Officer Michael Kosgei had declared Awiti winner in August with 210,173 votes against his main challenger, former Kasipul MP Oyugi Magwanga's 189,060 votes. He cannot be declared as a validly elected from a flawed process for which he has now benefited. High Court Judge Joseph Karanja quashed Awiti's victory, citing a series of electoral irregularities and illegalities. What broke the camel's back in this matter is the existence of two sets of results forms originating from the first respondent IEBC. In one set, the third respondent emerged as a winner, and in the other set, the first respondent emerged as winner. This simply meant that the gubernatorial election in the county of Mobe was indeterminate. Prior to the verdict, the judge had ordered a recount and scrutiny of votes in 91 polling stations, an audit report indicating that some results declaration forms were either not signed or blank and did not bear the IABC stamp. Other forms did not have serial numbers, while some had alterations in figures that were not countersigned. Many ballot boxes did not have security seals, according to the security report. The IABC blundered, blundered, and blundered some more and is now paying the price for the inefficiency, carelessness, recklessness, and negligence of some of the electoral officials. It will appear that their motto was, get the job, get it done in whichever way, get paid for some public coffers, chap chap, get lost. But Awiti, whose supporters clashed with Magwangas at the court's exit, disputed the verdict and claimed corruption in the corridors of justice had snatched his victory. He's headed to the Court of Appeal to contest the ruling. I am still the governor of Humber Bay County and I will discharge my duty eh, so long as the case is on until such a time it is determined. People of the Humber Bay has gotten another chance to go for a by-election. <laughs> In Bungoma County, Kimilili MP Didmas Barasa's election was upheld after his challenger Suleiman Murunga's petition was thrown out with a 3 million shillings bill for the former lawmaker. Kitutu Chacha MP Jimmy Nuru Angwenyi's triumph in August was also confirmed by the Kisi High Court. Marsabit Governor Mahmoud Ali and woman representative Safia Sheikh Eden also survived. The election was properly conducted. With High Court Judge Said Chetembwe dismissing petitions against them. I want to assure you all, including those who did not vote for me then, and even those who went to court to challenge the validity of my election, that the Kyle government is your government too. Francis Gashuri for the big question.